Hi guys, it's Keisha. I'm going to do a what's in my bag video today. Um, right here I have the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the monogram print. Let's get started. First thing I have is my phone. It's the iPhone 4S. It's my cover. And I got this cover on eBay for $4.99 and it came with this little sticker button thing right there. Okay, the next thing I have is my keys. I have my Juicy Couture wallet. I got this from Plato's Closet for $16 and I think it sells at Juicy Couture for $60 or $70. So that was a pretty good deal. There's my dog. I have an umbrella. I got this at Kohl's, I think, for $5. Um, my makeup bag. This is just a little pouch. And in here I have, let's see if we can get it open. Altoids and Five gum. Eyelash curler. I have cough drops because my throat's been hurting lately. A hair tie and lotion for my face because it's been pretty dry. These are my headphones for work. Here's a pouch I have. It just has highlighters, pins, pretty much a, a Lysol to go spray, and a hand sanitizer spray. And then I have this pouch. It pretty much has a bunch of junk in it that I might need. Here's uh, tissues, Q-tips, stapler, um, this is for my eyebrows, um, this is Bath and Body Works um, antibacterial hand gel in the cupcake, vanilla cupcake, um, paper, This is a little bag. It folds up into a square and like you can unzip it and it's a full bag, like a shopping bag. A pin. I have EOS lip balm. Um, this is a cool off little wipe. This looks like lipstick, but it's mace. Have a calculator, nail filer, it has ice cream on it, and then another hair tie. Have staples, some more post its. This is my cord um, to charge my phone or my iPod. This is a tape measure. A lighter. Um, this I got at Kohl's for like five dollars. It has a K on it. And basically, when you don't want to set your purse on the ground, you can set it. Let me see. If I can do this. You can set it on. Oh, you can't. I can't do it with this one. But you set it on the table like this, and then you hook your purse to that end part and it just hangs off the table so it doesn't have to sit on the floor. Okay. Okay, more hair ties. Um, a little memory card thingy I don't even use. And another hair tie at the bottom of that. And I'll do 
I'll open this up and show you what's in my makeup bag. I don't really wear that much makeup. And this is the same makeup I've been wearing since I was probably like 17 and I'm now 23, so. Um, this is lipstick I got from the dollar store. Uh, this is concealer. I don't really use it because it's the dark color and it's actually too dark for my skin now. Um, a little brush. This is my Maybelline uh, mascara. I need to get another one of those because it's dry. Here's my Revlon eyeliner. And my brush for my eyeshadow. This is the um, baby lips. Let me see. Uh, I don't know what flavor this one's in. I don't know. But it's the baby lips one. It's the one um, that's clear. It doesn't have any color to it. And um, it says it's sunscreen FPF 20. Here's my MAC um, powder. I don't really use it very much because this is also too dark for me. Whenever I bought this makeup, it was probably like two years ago and I was a lot darker. These are just oil absorbing, absorbing sheets because my skin's pretty oily. And then Revlon. I've been getting this for years. And the only color I use is this one right there, that in. This is another blush that I got from the dollar store. Let's see if I can open it. It's pretty hard to open with one hand. Hold on. Yep, can't do it. But yeah, it is in the classic color 540. It says rose silk. On um, nail clippers. This is another blush. It is by MAC and it's Peachy Keen. Pretty sure that's the name of it. Oh, let's see if I can open this one. It's almost gone. I need to get a new one. But I use it to the brim because I love this color so much. Got some on my nail. Okay, and then uh, tweezers for my eyebrows. And that's actually it. So this bag holds a lot. Oh wait, I think I still have some more. Yes, I do. Okay, I have my camera. I have my notebook. Um... And then like posters on the side, different notes. Basically I put the bills in there and check off what I've paid. And then this is my Hello Kitty agenda. Uh, I think this was like $10. And basically it has this calendar part. I'm really organized and I color code everything. And then there's a like weekly part where you just, um, you can put your days right there and like what you have to do. This is like my availability for that day. And then in the back they just have this paper that you can write notes on. And I think that's it. Yeah, I don't have anything in the side pocket. I usually keep my phone in this one. And there's... Oh, here's a pen. That's it. A uh, Planet Fitness pen, right in purple. Okay, it's completely empty now. And that is the Speedy 30. That's everything that I fit in it. Um, When I have... This is like my day-to-day things that I hold with me all the time when I have that much stuff. Um, I don't really like to go shopping with this bag because you have to hold it in like the crook of your arm so after time it hurts. 
Um, I usually switch out my bag if I'm going to be going shopping, but like on a day-to-day -day basis, going to school, going to work, I uh, use this bag. Um, I actually got this bag on eBay for, I think it was around $250, $260, and I don't know what it is now. I think it's probably, the Speedy 30 is probably like around $700, I think it is. I have to check on that, but... So I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I went to the Louis Vuitton store and the um, person that was working told me that it was authentic. It's like an, uh, he said it was an authentic vintage piece and it was made in 1988, I think it is. So it's actually like two years older than I am. But um, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, basically, it's in great condition. The leather has darkened, and when I first got this, I think it was like a year ago, you could tell right here, it said um, it was made in France, but now it's really, you can't see anything anymore, it just all faded away, and um, oh, also, this part right here is kind of like about to rip off so I try to unzip it by this and not just pull the leather part of it but besides that it's really good condition um, I thought it was pretty good to get a $700 bag for $260 like um, besides that I think I'm done all right see you later